Hey guys, happy Friday. It's Sean here and I'm back today to review the Air Jordan 1 Retro High Yin Yang in the white colorway. Officially, these were part of the Premium Essentials Pack. However, they're nicknamed to be the Yin Yang Pack because of the fact that these released alongside a black Air Jordan 1 that featured white accents, so basically an inverse version of this. So these Jordan 1s released in North America on August 6th for a retail price of 160 USD or 215 Canadian dollars. So I was a fan of this colorway when I first saw pictures of it online, but I didn't want to pay full retail price for it and decided to wait it out until I could find this for a bit of a discount. As with most Air Jordans these days, these have actually sat on shelves uh, at almost every store that I've seen that carries them. So last week was actually the Foot Locker and Champs employee appreciation event. So what that is, is employees at Foot Locker or Champs in Canada are eligible for those few days to get 50% off their purchase. Obviously there's going to be some exceptions, but generally it's everything goes. So since this was included as part of the promotion, instead of being $215, I ended up paying $107.50. And at that price, that was a no-brainer. So overall, I find this is a very clean looking shoe. It's predominantly white, so you can see the entire upper is made of this white leather. It has a white rubber outsole, a white mesh tongue. There's just enough of black and red hits to make this shoe pop. So as you can see, there's a black swoosh on both sides of the shoe. The collar is this black lining, and it has this red Nike Air stitching on the tongue. So these come packaged in this Nike Air Air Jordan 1 branded box, and they come with a spare pair of black flat laces. So the leather on these are actually pretty good. They're not going to be at the same level of quality as the shattered backboards, but it's a better quality leather than the recent Chicago ones, and it's probably around the same level as the UNC ones and the Metallic Navy ones. In terms of sizing, Jordan 1s are pretty much always go true to size. I think the only exception where I went half size down was the shattered backboards because I felt that the toe was just way too roomy for me. But these fit normal, they're true to size and I have no problems with the fit. So here's how these look laced up and on feet. That wraps up my review of the Air Jordan 1 Retro High Yin Yang, officially known as the Premium Essentials in the white colorway. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at SGO8 and leave a comment below to let me know what you guys think of these. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next review.